everyone, you're welcome to another exciting episode of the Queen Diva Show and I'm your host Queen Diva. With me in the studio, I have an actress, a fashion stylist, and tribunal, and the recent evicted housemate of the Big Brother Nigeria level of season. Please welcome Modella. Hi Modella. Hello Queen Diva. How are you? I'm good. You're welcome to the show. Thank you, you look beautiful. Thank you, and you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, so tell us about Modella before she went into Big Brother. Yeah, Modella has always been the creative girl. I've always been a model, like from day one, a fashion influencer, mm -hmm. a brand influencer too, in general, then a YouTuber. There's just a lot to Modella, you know, model, actress. I've mm -hmm. just I've been in the entertainment industry for okay. a while, but you know, underground. Underground. Yeah. But now you're out. Out there. Yeah, that's the energy. Okay. <laughs> All right. The name Modella, please. Is that the name your parents gave you, or what's the name you? Okay, so my other name, my first name is Esther, my other name is Gabriella, and I'm a model. Okay. So some people call me Ella, and I just derived the model name from Model Ella, so Modella. So oh. that's it for me. Oh, that's <laughs> superb. Okay, so why, what made you say, oh, I need to be on the show? Yeah, as I said, I've, I've always been, like, I've been in the entertainment industry for a while. Okay. And I just need a bigger platform to push myself out there, you know, make more money. Just, it just, it's just like a leveling up kind of thing. In fact, when I was planning to go to the house, mm -hmm. my mom was like, okay, it's time to level up. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, this year's thing is level, level up. Can you imagine? <laughs> <what it is? laughs> yes. Okay, okay so um, going to the show, did you audition like every other person? Yes, I did. Alright, so how come they, like, were you aware, like, I don't understand how the housemates, um, the fake housemates thing happened, please explain better. Well, I, I got to know I'd be a fake housemate on the same day I was going into the show, oh. like, yeah, so, and even before then, I didn't, maybe I've not watched the show enough in the past to know that you'd have a role or there's something to, I mean, I was just going on the show with my own personal strategy, plan, being myself, so coming in as a fake housemate wasn't, it wasn't that messy, like, Funny. Mm -hmm. It wasn't planned for. Uh, it wasn't planned. How did yeah. you feel? I felt really bad. I'm, you man, I was, I was be sincere because I'm coming to say that it wasn't bad. That's a lie. I felt really, really bad. Like that's that should always fuck to my confidence. Like why? Why would I be playing for the money? But regardless, I just said okay. I still have to platform regardless. Okay. And yeah, let me just go regardless of being right. a fake fake outfit or not. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people audition and they do not even have the opportunity to go in. Yeah, so that was it. All right. So when you went into the house, we saw this special bond you have with um, Brian. So tell us about it. <laughs> it's a special bond for me though. Special yeah, you know how it is on the show. You make people, you make friends and all okay. of that. Brian, Brian and I were friends before he got to start liking me. And we're just cool, honestly. Like, we're friends and that's it. He got to start liking you. That means you don't like him back. No, I like him, but I wasn't like exactly down for shape. But we're cool, honestly. Okay, so we're not expecting any shit when he comes out. When he comes out. Maybe you guys should chill to that. <laughs> no, we're not gonna chill today. Let's just know now. Know, but, but Let's know now so that if you know you don't want him, really if he comes I, I, out, we will look for friend, somebody for Brian. We are cool. Brian and I were cool. Uh, and, yeah, we are put adults, so everybody can be there. Sure. Brian is a very strong contender. He might win the show. Yeah, I'll be glad for him. Honestly, I'm really you guys should vote for Brian. <laughs> I'm really, really praying for him to win. Honestly, I'm rooting for him to win. Okay, so but I want to know more about Brian in the house because I've asked a few people that have been on the show and then there's this thing they say about him talking too much and all that. What can you say? Aside from that, what else? I want to know okay. what's the good part about Brian. So, Brian, see, I would not say Brian talks too much. See, on that show, you just be yourself. I feel Brian is being himself and okay. his age and everything around. And I don't think it's bad to be yourself. Imagine him, people say he's talking too much and people like him out there. I got out and saw the love like for Brian. I'm like, oh, I don't think even he knows how big he is outside. Mm -hmm. Of course, he'd have like me because before I went to the outside, I already had like my team ready and everything. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets that team ready, mm -hmm. but you don't know how far to push the yes, work and exactly. everything. So for me, it's just it's being himself, an amazing person, he loves to sing, he's putting his time out there, and yeah. I don't that's what matters. That is what matters. And mm -hmm. honestly, if people say you talk too much, do you will you like if you someone if you someone that, that you're expressing, mm -hmm. will you get on the show and be quiet? Why? No, no, no. Just be yourself, like unapologetically, because whatever pays you might not pay somebody else. So just mm -hmm. be yourself. That's, so I don't think he's doing bad at all. Yeah. In fact, when he meshed us and he was calm, he wasn't really talking. I went to meet him, I'm like, bro, what's up? Like, don't 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 like don't pull back at this point. Do you understand? Be yourself that you've been on level two. Don't call me and start. I was like, okay, okay, what about me? But he did not know I was a fake housemate. I know I'm living soon, so I was not. Yeah. yeah, so that's it. Yeah. I feel like just be yourself. That's what matters. So, do you think that being a fake housemate affected the way you would have felt for him? 
for him, I would not say for him because of course going on the show I wasn't planning to be on like I wasn't planning to be in any shape exactly. Okay. But you know you know how love happens though. Mm -hmm. You really do not plan for him. Mm -hmm. But regardless of being a fake housemate or not, I was I just wanted to put myself out there in the short while that I had to be there on be on the show. So that was what that was it for me. Okay. Yeah, that was like the major because everybody has plans. Yes. Of course you can change your plan at some mm -hmm. point, but mm -hmm. at least mm -hmm. just Forward still, yes. Yeah, so. Okay, so we saw somewhere there was this fashion show the day, yes. and there's this particular dress you made yes. with your hands. How yeah. did you like? Did you go to a school? Did you learn fashion? What tell us about it? So, I'm a fashion influencer, I'm a fashion stylist. It yes. is just talent. Just Before I went on the show, if you saw like, my first video, when you were asking, I said I'm more talent. I can do a lot of things, but well, I cannot like do everything professionally because mm -hmm. jack of all trades, mm -hmm. yeah. So Fashion, fashion is just everything for me. I can just be, I can see that I'm creative and bring out something. I didn't go to any school. I didn't learn anything anywhere. It's just my creativity and talent. All thanks to God. That's good. You're very, very lucky. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Ocean State. Ocean State. Yes. Okay. So are you seeing anyone? Seeing it? No. Right so now. So you're single here now? I'm single. Uh, you're not searching? I don't know. I'm sure a lot of guys right, now right waiting now, on you. Right now, I'm searching for money because where's the money? <laughs> no way, money will. Are you telling you? Look at where you look at. I'm still searching for money. I'm, I'm this searching. money. I'm searching for money. Be that about don't be lonely. I don't want to be a millionaire. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So let's talk about the ships in the house. Okay. Um, while you were in the house, you witnessed Groovy and Fina ship. Tell us about it. Well, I feel like they're cool together. Like, you know, we have to like, because of course, Ruby was with Beauty at first, and mm -hmm. then Fina. At first, I was not like really fine with it, but of course, everybody makes their decisions. Mm -hmm. We are all adults, and yeah, they're cool together, you know. I feel like they were born at first, I did not, I did not really get it, mm -hmm. but yeah, but you know, at some point, you see them together, eat together, you just, they are, at the end of the day, that person with this relationship, they, are, they, they both know how it is going for them, but with what we can see. I feel like they're cool, so I really cannot speak for them. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what about Khalid? Like you've met Khalid right now, right? Yeah. Okay. So now that Khalid is with Dotson, how do you think he feels? Because I'm gonna bring him here on the show to tell me about himself. But now that you've met him, has he said anything like uh, he's well, he not being happy with what Daniela did or something? Well, all human. If you're the one, so you might not be really cool with it. Of course. So, okay. so as the guy, so I really, <laughs> as I said, personal. I feel like. It's best for people to speak for themselves. But from my own perspective, I don't feel like it's really cool with it. But of course, that goes on. Do you understand? And again, Daniela is an adult. She can make her decisions for herself. She feels like, okay, Dotsu is the right guy right now. Then, I don't feel people should judge her. She should just do her thing. At the end of the day, she knows what is best for her. So, and Kali, on the other hand, Kali is a fine boy. Kali, mm -hmm. <laughs> Kali is cool, smart, and all of that. So, I feel like they will both be fine. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so what are you working on now aside from um, being a fashion stylist? What is it that you're working on presently? Uh, well, I really cannot put everything out there. Okay. You know, most of the times you want to like work, um, put like put the whole process behind and bring the, the main thing outside when it is like ready. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm working on stuff so, like, of course. Making money is like a cool. I'm sure you like I'm saying making money, making money. Yeah, I'm I'm working on some stuffs already. Okay. Yeah, and then like I'm already working. Yeah, I'm working with brands. I'm you know, okay. I'm in wrestling deals and okay. pushing forward okay. and yeah, okay. all okay. thanks to God. So yeah, thank God. Okay, so um, I have numbers one to ten. Okay. All right. So um, any number you pick, I'll tell you the housemates. Then you tell me exactly what you like about this person and what you dislike about you. You have to be blunt. You have to be honest. Okay. Please. Okay. So, one to ten. Number two. Beauty. Beauty. Yeah. Wow. What do you like about beauty and dislike beauty? Um. What I like. Um. Beauty is. Um. She's a young, smart girl. Beautiful. Fashionable, I like that. She's she's a sweet girl. Okay. Trust me, she's a very very sweet girl. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I really do not exactly know what I dislike about. Like I'm really thinking, I'm trying to be blunt here. I don't know what I dislike about her because <laughs> beauty is the one that will call you and cook for you <laughs> for you to eat. Yeah, beauty is very caring and loving. Let me think. Uh, okay, maybe I'll say maybe she overreacts when she's drunk. I think okay. that's just all I can. I can see, and I feel like everybody is a work in progress, so mm -hmm. I'm sure she's working on that. So, well, yeah, she's a, she's a very, very sweet soul. All right, okay, another number? Uh, four. Amaka. Amaka. 
Um, Anka is herself. I think she's herself because after the show, I asked her that all the stuff they did on the show, what's your strategy? She said, This is just her. Um, so she's cool. Amaka is cool. She's um, she's someone that she's she's, a, she's an expressive person. Mm -hmm. She likes to talk about how she feels and mm -hmm. I like that about her because of course you have to express it. Yeah. The one I don't like about her is that sometimes she oversteps people's boundaries and she cannot take what she does to people. Okay. Sometimes, yeah. So that's just it. But the, the, the beautiful thing about her is that regardless of what happens, she knows how to like where she's wrong, she realizes her mistake mm -hmm. and like make amends for that. I feel okay. that is really great. So yeah. Alright, okay, another number. <laughs> Mm. Number five, Kes. Kes. Uh, oh, there's nothing I don't like about Kes. So I'm thinking, okay, Kes is a very mature person. Okay. Kes is mature. Kes is someone direct. If you are, is that is like that other person that be like, I'm sitting back and seeing where I'm not seeing. So you, <laughs> <laughs> so you correct you where you're going astray. Okay. And you call you back. So I really don't know. I feel like okay, sometimes. It's, it's really blunt, so sometimes how blunt it is can get to you back if you're not okay. getting the message. You know, not everybody likes to be corrected and not everybody likes the truth. Mm -hmm. So if someone is telling you the truth that this thing about you, maybe you already know and you just feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. So I feel that's it, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's still trying to do you good. Dude. Yeah. So that's the side you don't like about him? No, I wouldn't say I don't. That's why I said it's hard to pick a side I don't like. Because okay. the very is mature, it's calm, so you cannot talk to, you can yeah. cry, you can. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I really don't know it's like, but some, it, might, it might be. Mistaken for proud, oh, okay. yeah, but it's not. If you get close to him, you know, it's a very straight, like down to her person, yeah. Okay, okay. but regardless, sometimes they, they misunderstand how blunt it can be. Oh, okay, all right. I'm gonna number please. I'm gonna call everybody on the list. No, okay, no number seven. Number seven, Fam Sally. Ah, Fam Sally is always laughing, he's always smiling. <laughs> oh, good. Um, Everybody's talking about Fam Sally's smiling. smiling, yeah. Iman is open to he's always smiling. Fam Sabi is a cool guy, he's really cool, he's mature, okay. yeah, he's someone you can talk to, play games with, he can be goofy sometimes, you do stuff to make you laugh. I really don't know what I do like about Fam Sabi because Fam Sabi is just me. I've not seen any sides of Fam Sabi that I would say, oh, this is bad. I don't, I don't Are like you it. sure? I'm telling you, maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I didn't see it or I didn't, but to be sincere, Fam Sabi. Sometimes I'm always cool with everybody. You go play, you go. And he hardly gets angry. Even when he's angry, he's laughing. Okay. <laughs> so you don't even know. So. Alright, another number. Number 10. Daniela. Daniela. Uh, Daniela was my friend on the show, so I don't even know what I do like about Daniela. Daniela is welcoming. She's cool. She's a very, very great girl. Mm -hmm. Great young lady. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I do like about Daniela, honestly. Mm. I really cannot tell. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very, very much. So tell us um, a little bit more about yourself. What's your favorite food? What are the things you love doing? Okay. When you just want to, aside from work, what are the things well, you love to do? Yeah. Okay. To start with, I'm a Yoruba girl. Okay. <laughs> and my first favorite food is powdered yam. Iyo, ati, egusi. Yeah. Can you cook it? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Well, pound it. I can turn pound it too. No, so you cannot pound the real yam. I can try. <laughs> okay, alright. But I can cook egusi, of course. And there's something I like to do. I like to go to the beach. I like to see movies. I love spa dates. And what else do I like? I just I love pampering when I'm not working. Because, mm. you know, baby girl, the stop time. <laughs> yeah, I love to okay. pamper when all I'm right. not working. Alright, so do you have a role model that's in this um, big, big, big brother Nigeria? Like, from the other um, seasons to Season. dates? Um, I just I have different favorites. Okay, let's see. Favorites. Let's know your favorites. Okay, I like Messi on the show. Messi. Yeah, okay. I like Tatcha. Like after the show, I like how um, I, I really like her after the show. Like okay. the transition and everything. Okay. And do you know what we really like Tatcha the most? Was during the reunion. Oh my god. Mm. During their first, like it felt like yes. And then I liked Erica. Okay. Um, I liked I liked Bisola on her set. I liked that on the show. I liked that afterwards. I like the fact that. Bisola is still that actress of the show till now. Bisola has yeah. gone really far from Big Brother to being an independent person. Yes. And yeah. Yes. Um, oh my god, I can't remember all the names. Okay. I, oh, I like fine. a lot of people on yeah. the show. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, quick one. Just tell your fans something. Okay. Hello, everybody. My my fan name is Mo Gang. Mo Gang 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 Gang. Thanks. Thanks for the love and everything. Thank you so much for supporting me, even though I was a fake housemate. Oh, I came out and I saw the love and it was amazing. Thank you so much. You guys should look forward to Modella the brand very soon. 
we're trying to take over. No, we're coming to take over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thanks for having me, Queen Diva. Yeah. You're beautiful. Love Thank your nails. You. Love Thank you so you. much. You look beautiful too. Thank, Thank you. you. Mogeg, it's a Phoebe Girl Modella and I'm here to say thank you. Thanks for the love and support. Thanks to everybody. Like I appreciate you now. Thank you so much. And your girl is up to a lot. And you guys, you guys are not ready for everything that's about to, that's about to happen. Thank you so much for everything once again. Bye ya. Peace out. <laughs> Thanks for watching the show and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell So that whenever I drop a video you'll be the first to know okay and do not forget to share and like this video Follow me on my social media handles. See you again in my next video. Bye for now